So what we're going to be looking at in this uh, game theory video is a quick overview of the common knowledge of rationality, uh, also known as a CKR, and I'm going to give a quick example of um, an elimination of dominated strategies game. Um, so on common knowledge of rationality, if we wish to solve a game, by this method the elimination of dominated strategies then we must assume uh, that the players are all rational. Of course being rational means that you're going to make the rational choice. Um, so what we have here is the CKR. So the players are rational. Um, and then we have the players know that the other players are rational. And then we have the players know that the players know that they're rational. Uh, so that sort of goes on and on. Um, now the common knowledge of rationality isn't just used in game theory, it's used in uh, many sort of areas of mathematics and other sort of logical uh, argument areas. Uh, actually a couple of years ago they did research I believe um, where they showed that this wasn't perhaps necessary for finding um, certain game theory events. Uh, but I think it's worth mentioning before I go on to show you an example uh, of the elimination of dominated strategies. Uh, by the way, we refer to this as a chain of assumptions. Okay. Okay, so what we want to do now is give a brief example of solving games. Uh, by using the uh, iterated, so repeated, elimination of a dominated strategies. Now in my previous video, uh, video number one, uh, I gave a brief overview of weakly and strongly dominated strategies so if you haven't watched that please go back to that um, I'm going to draw a quick uh, matrix so player one uh, I'll give him two choices so he has two strategies R1 and R2 and player two can have three S1, S2 and S3 and we'll have one zero, one two, uh, zero one, uh, nor three, zero one, and two zero. Um, I always like to start on player one. So we look at player one and we look at strategy R one. So for S one, one is greater than zero. For S two, one is greater than zero. And for S3, 0 is less than 2. So between R1 and R2, there are no um, dominated strategies. So what we do now is we see if player 2 has any dominated strategies. So for strategy S1, uh, we have 0 and 3. Um, 
for strategy S2. So for player two, uh, we want to see if there are any dominated strategies. So we'll look at strategy S3, we have uh, one for R1, which is less than uh, two and greater than zero. And we have zero, less than one, uh, less than three. So what we notice here is that S2, uh, we have two greater than one and two greater than zero. Uh, one greater than zero and one less than three. Well, what you'll notice here, it would appear that S2 dominates S3 because two is larger than one and one is larger than zero. So we can eliminate strategy three. Now we revert back to player one. So I'll just take a quick note of this here. So player one had no dominated strategies and then we notice that player 2 uh, has S3 dominated by S2 uh, so we look at player 1 again so for player 1 uh, we have 1 and 0 and 1 and 0 so for player 1 R1 dominates strategy R2 so we can eliminate strategy R2 because the 1's and the zeros. So player one has a strategy um, R2 dominated by R1. So back to player two, we have um, two uh, is a greater value than zero. So for what's left, we have uh, strategy S2 dominate strategy S1. And we're left with R1 S2. So, therefore, R1, S2, is the solution by the method of uh, elimination of dominated strategies. I know it can get quite fiddly going across and down, um, but it just takes practice, um, so feel free to put any questions and comments below.